this is Lady Boulay and welcome back to Black America Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, what is the high cost of migrants in the United States? This article is from the New York Post and it says how the migrant crisis drained $150 billion from taxpayers in a single year. The migrant crisis is more costly than Americans realize. Last year, U.S. taxpayers shelled out some $150 billion in government services and support to help the 20 million illegal migrants in the country, according to a study from the Federation for American Immigration Reform. And most of the cost is being borne by state and local governments. In Massachusetts, Republican leaders say there's a $1 billion hole in state coffers. And they're accusing the Democrat-controlled government of quietly siphoning off tax dollars to deal with the migrant crisis. But y'all, who do you think is really getting this money? The hotels? The restaurant people? The government officials? Do we really think that the migrants are getting the most of $150 billion? I find that hard to believe. On Tuesday, the state's Republican Party filed a Freedom of Information Act request demanding Governor Mara Healy release Massachusetts' full migrant budget and alleging that the true cost has been hidden from the public, and I don't doubt that. The Healy Driscoll administration, and this is the governor and the lieutenant governor, have shrouded nearly $1 billion spent in secrecy, leaving Massachusetts residents in the dark, the party's Amy Carbondale told Fox News. They have withheld critical information on 600 incidents, including police, fire, and EMT. Blocking journalists at every turn, the administration has obstructed the flow of information to the public. The Fairness in Reporting Agency estimates that in 2023 alone, the cost in state services for the illegal migrants and their children in the Bay State was closer to $3 billion. In New York, the Comptroller estimated that the migrant crisis will cost state taxpayers $4.3 billion through 2025 and New York City taxpayers $3 billion in the fiscal year 2024 alone. Now, they might be giving those migrants some food and a shelter. They're all living in some kind of shelter. Most of them are not living in luxury or hotels. But that money is going to those hotels and for the people who are handling this crisis. Now, I know that some of that money is going for the upkeep of those migrants, but now we're not stupid. $150 billion is not going to migrants because if that were the case, they would not be out on the street begging for food and they would not be complaining about living in shelters. Now they are doing something for those migrants and they are getting some of that money. I would never believe that they're giving the migrants all that money. This country is way too stingy for that. Because if they can take something that was designed for black people and give it to white people, they can take something that was so-called designed for migrants and give it to somebody else too. So, I mean, let's just not all pretend that we were born yesterday. And the tip off for me is America pretending that they don't know what to do about these illegal migrants, immigrants coming into this country. They're just, oh, they're just, they're just flooding in from the border and you don't know what to do about it. They knew what to do about Black Wall Street. They knew what to do about Oscarville. They knew what to do about Seneca Village. They knew what to do about thriving black towns. I just listened to Lisa Cabrera do, uh, do a review of that documentary on Lake Lanier. And we all know about these massacres. They know what to do about us. They know what to do in Ukraine. They knew what to do in Vietnam. They know what to do everywhere else, but they don't know what to do at the Mexican border. 
They don't know how to stop people from coming into this country. Let's not pretend we were born yesterday. According to the Fairness in Reporting Act, the estimated 1.45 million illegal migrants and children in the state of Massachusetts already cost taxpayers nearly $10 billion in 2023. Again, they could do something about that if they wanted to. While most states' accounts of migrant expenses focus on emergency housing and aid, Fairness in Reporting's assessment factored in the full breadth of state services they draw on while in the U.S. See, they keep talking about state services. That money is going back to the state, and that money is going in somebody's pocket. That wouldn't surprise me because they're talking about services. They keep talking about the services, the services. So when they're talking about the services, they're talking about the services that those migrants are getting from the state. So that means that the people who are providing those services are getting most of that money. And before somebody comes on here talking about the $150,000 they say they gave the migrants in California for housing, according to the LA Times, 2,600 people have received that voucher. The program serves more than 2,600 undocumented immigrants across the state who are seniors, blind, or disabled. So it's not for able-bodied people who can go out and work and pay for their own place to stay. And I would also add that in California, housing is so expensive that I would wonder what they could even get for $150,000. And I have said it before, there are people, black people really, who migrated out to California years ago, worked, retired, sold a three-bedroom, two-bath house for a million dollars, almost a million dollars, came back to the South and bought a house two or three times that size and had money left over to invest. So California is very expensive to buy property. So wrapping up this article, while most states' accounts of migrant expenses focus on emergency housing and aid, fairness in reporting's assessment factored in the full breadth of state services they draw on while in the U.S. Now consider this. The population of the state of Alabama is a little over 5 million. The state's budget for the citizens of Alabama for 2025 is 3.3 billion. So if these states are spending billions and billions of dollars more on migrants than they are on their citizens, you know that something in the milk ain't clean. Something is wrong. And the argument that illegal aliens pay more in taxes than they use in services is completely misleading. Well, it can't be true because they're not making that much money to be paying that much in taxes. So something is wrong, and so America is just going to have to come clean about what's really going on. There is no sense in spending all of this money on people who haven't even proven that they would, could be, that they would be good citizens of this country. And it's unfair to the people who are good citizens. So at a point, American taxpayers need to ask a basic question. What is all this money going for? And who's being deported? Why are they all being allowed to stay? That's another question. So anyway, I'm just going to say that I'm suspicious about this at this point. All of this talking about migrants and illegal immigrants and illegal migrants and all this money. Something isn't right in my opinion. And the American people need an accounting for where all of this money is going. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about this. Thank you for listening and have a good evening.